And my grandmother was very, she was very religious, though, right? And I used to see her a lot, though. Like, she'd always be praying, and then, like, I see her do shit, like, she'd be swearing at God, you know? Most of it was, you fucking bastard, why don't you kill me now? I'm so miserable. <laughs> I mean, she, she lived to be, like, 92 years old. And, uh... Yeah, and she was really, I oh mean, she was a trip, dude. She wound up getting uh, rectum cancer, lung cancer, all kinds of different cancer, right? So she was definitely terminal, dude. And uh, she fucking, um, she's 93 years old and uh, loaded with cancer, and they put her in this, uh, this home because my aunt couldn't take care of her anymore right it's like uh you know like a place where you go where you to die right so uh i tried to you know i went with my mother too before she passed that um i went there and you know i tried to see her all the times i could before she died and I fucking come in there, too, and I see my grandmother, right? And I'm expecting her to have all kinds of tombs in her and shit, you know? And I, I don't know, just be ready to die. Like, I was expecting the worst. And I fucking go in there, right? And I see her sitting on the edge of the bed. And she, she sees us, and she's like, oh, Michael, hi, you guys came and seen me. And I'm like, hi, Grandma, and I give her a kiss. And she looks at me, she looks at us, and she goes, what the fuck is going on here? She's like, why ain't I dead yet? And I was like, what? She's like, these fucking doctors stuck me in here to die. All they want is all my money. I'm like, I'm supposed to be dead by now. <laughs> She's like, I want to get the fuck out of here. I was like, wow. She's funny. She's not afraid at all. But, dude, I used to see her swear at God, dude, like. And I used to ask my mom, because my mom was re religious, too. And I used to say, Mom, isn't that bad that, you know, Grandma's always swearing at God? And uh, my mom told me, you know. Whether you love him or you hate him, as long as you believe in him, he loves you and he forgives you. And my mom told me that. And I don't know, I know you're a lot more religious than me, so have you ever heard that? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. So, when I go out front, dude, every time I go out and have a smoke or even go outside and see the sky, dude, I always look up and I talk to him, I guess, hoping he's listening. Somebody texted me and bothered me, probably my wife. So then I wrote this song, dude, because I got mad at him this morning. And I never did that before. But I don't really ask him for much. I'm very thankful for everything that I have. You know? So I wrote this. He's not there. He's not there. I try to talk to him every time I look up in the air. Is he not listening, or does he just not care? Oh, sometimes I got, I get mad at the man in the year. I can't really ask for more. I gotta say I got it pretty good. I got a four-wheel drive and a beautiful wife. In my house out here in the woods.
I don't ask for nothing for me. I pray for everyone else, but it's but it's true. The Bible says God says. But it's true, the Bible says God only helps those who help themselves. Thank you, God, for all that you give. Thank you for protecting my wife, my family, my kids. Thank you for everything that, that you've given me. I look up in the air and hope you hear me. They say God is great and beer is good, but don't be a fool, cause without him, we'd have nothing to lose. Thank you God, cause I know that you're there, looking down on us through the atmosphere. Thank you God, for all that you give. And thank you for this life that we live. I know you like that one, dude.